Hello everybody. Today I am chilling with the pork chop. Say hi Mina. Hey. She's trying to drive the golf cart, the electric golf cart. Anyways, uh, we're at my family motel. Uh, we have a Tesla charging station, of course. And we had this 2016 Model X show up. Turns out it is a Founders Edition. Let's see if we can zoom in on that. See that? Founders Edition. You can see it kind of etched into that marker. It is Autopilot 1 with MCU 1. Unfortunately, the center screen is dead. The dreaded dead center screen issue has hit this Founders Model X. Unfortunately, that also means it cannot charge. AC charge at least. DC charge might work might not work problem with that is if he blows the last of his power to get to the dc charge it's also a supercharger um then he's completely stuck he has like 15 miles of range left 20 miles to the closest supercharger by freeway and we're pretty much the only ones with a tesla station or any kind of station that's ac powered now I, if i remember correctly with a dead MCU, you, sh you should still be able to supercharge. However, his whole family's in town. Can't get a hold of a tow truck because Wisconsin Dells is kind of, you know, we got shit for just about every service around here. No better way of putting it. So that really sucks. He's going to end up having to rent a car tomorrow. Today's Sunday. Tomorrow's Monday. Of course, nothing's open today. So he's going to have to rent a car tomorrow, drive his family back to Chicago, drive the rental car all the way back and hope that Tesla comes or somebody comes with a tow truck to pick this thing up. It should still have battery warranty because it is a 16 and this is only 2020. But yeah, kind of sad. All these MCU one failures it makes me very glad that I upgraded my Model X to MCU two. Still on the fence about upgrading my Model S to MCU 2 because my Model S is Autopilot 1 and uh, don't get too many benefit of it except the major benefit of losing my AM and FM radio. That my Model S is still on firmware 8.1 so I haven't been hit with the Tesla supercharging speed reduction or the battery gate scandals. So yeah, there's, there's RX. Now, if you guys remember, I also had a Founders X for about 10 minutes. I couldn't afford it, so I flipped it to a friend. And that's how I was able to afford the 90D. Can you say hi? Yep. pork chop? Say hi. You are sleepy. You didn't take your nap. Say hi, Mina. Mina. Pork chop. Hey. K-Man girl. Hey man, girl. Hey. Mina. Say hi. Say hi. Can you give kisses? No, she wants to drive. I actually did let her drive the Model X through a parking lot while she sat on my lap. And unlike Mama, she didn't hit anything. <laughs> so nice breeze we got a major storm coming and I really hope the guy figures out because this guy's not even staying here so I really hope he figures out what he's gonna do with his Model X because I really don't want it going flat and dead on the grass there because if a tow truck comes they are going to tear everything up and then that's also going to disturb the crap out of our guests so I wish he could get a tow truck tonight I mean it really sucks and of course Tesla isn't responding because our lovely phone service now, uh, I guess, is next to impossible to reach anybody on a weekend. Something they cut back on. So, you like the breeze? Hey. Yeah. Yeah. My new little sidekick. She's taken after Papa. So, yeah. And to make matters worse, the MCU failed with the air conditioning on, and even with the car shut and locked, the AC does not turn off. Yeah. 
I don't know what to tell this guy. And he took off without leaving his phone number. Ah, what a conundrum. All right, that's it. Just something to ramble about. White interior does not, oh, do, does it? It does have the perforated seats. So does RX. But I will tell you, for a 2016, I don't know how many miles are on it, the seats did not hold up well at all. P90DL. Super, super. Super, super. Yeah. Yeah. Can you give a kiss? Mwah. Mwah. See, I'm a cute as a button. I'm as cute as a button. My name is Mina. I'm the pork chop. Yeah, came in girls one year, four months old now. And we're starting to get bit by the mosquitoes. God, is it nasty out. Humidity is at like a 86%, whatever that means. And temperature outside is 90. I got a storm coming and it if there's weather that feels just makes you drains you and feels miserable, yeah, this is it. Shigata shigata slam. So their buddies came to tow it because it was gonna be over a thousand dollar tow bill. And uh, even though it said it had two miles, at least on the dash screen, it would not go into drive. I was able to force reset the system. The center screen did not come back online. However, it did let it go into drive and barely got it up on the flatbed before it applied the brakes and shut down again. But uh, So now it's heading back to Chicago. But um, yeah, at least it's out of here. <laughs> But there we go, another MCU one bites the dust.